This is Twit. I think this is one of the, like, people sleep on this app that you're about to talk about. Mm. And it is, it, it's a, it's an underdog in a sense, be, or not an underdog. It is just, it's an unsung hero. So tell me yeah. what app I'm talking about. <laughs> well, you're talking about documents, which sounds like just a, a strange app name. So if you're searching for it in the, in the app store, it's documents by Riadl, R-E-A-D-D-L-E. Um, and documents by Riadl is like files, but on steroids. So if you think of Finder on the Mac, and then for those people who've had experience with, say, Forklift, then Forklift is much more powerful than file uh, than Finder. Documents is much more powerful than files in that it can do everything that files can do, and it can do other things. So previously, if you'd wanted to zip or unzip a, 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 a folder or a file, then you would have probably come to something like Documents to do it. Nowadays, of course, you can do that in files. That's not a problem. But you have a bunch of options here that you might find that you can't really easily do in files. So, for example, I'm just going to pop open the settings here. Um, first of all, one of my favorite things is you can change the scanner. So the default scanner app that's built into iOS is pretty good. Um, but I really, really like Scanner Pro, which is also by these people. And if I use documents, then I can default to scanning with Scanner Pro. And uh, it's now going to pop open the App Store because I don't have it installed on my iPad because I usually scan things on my iPhone because it's much easier to get optical image stabilization on a smaller device. Um, but you also have things like, you know, being able to view and doodle on PDFs and jump straight out to their app PDF expert um, and things like that if you wanted to. But they have a built-in browser, which is better at downloading files, I find. I sometimes mm -hmm. find some files don't download very well um, in Safari. But if, if I want to, then I can pop into here and I can go to, say, twit.tv slash, there it is, iOS. Oops, I can't spell. And I can go ahead and download last week's episode as a file. And I'll be able to pause that and do everything else that I need to do or want to do. Um, to to actually be able to you know manage my downloads as I go. So uh, there we go. Uh, download options, and I can download say the video, and then this has got video playback built right into it. But here you can see when I download it, I'm not just downloading the file. I can actually rename the file, choose where to save the file, and specify if I want to be asked this every single time. I'll just tap mm -hmm. done here. But now under the downloads, I can, you know, I can see it getting on with it. It's quite a big file. I can say, actually, no, I, I want to download this page, this whole page. And I want to download this page as a PDF. And again, that's oh. something that's easy to do. And now I've got two files here. And I can easily, you know, jump to where it is. And I can see these are all in my downloads folder, select them, manage them. Connecting to servers here on in documents is a lot easier than in files, simply because it you know, pre-fills out a bunch of information. If I want to connect to an SFTP server, it gives me what seems like a massive list of fields, but those are the fields I need to fill in. And otherwise I have to know quite a long string and that it starts with SFTP colon slash slash and so on to connect right. to that in files. Whereas documents makes it much easier for us to do things like that. And we can even sync folders and so on. You can have multiple Dropbox connections in here. And I, put, you know, I've, I think over the years I have, you know, I've paid for documents at times, but I use the free features, which are great. Um, so you don't necessarily even have to pay for this app. It is twelve forty nine a month if you do need to pay for the, the the pro features in it. But pretty much, I'm just using the free features. Yeah, same. Um, one of the things that I like about it that the the files app has not been able to do for me is that sometimes a file um, that I've downloaded online it improperly downloaded such that the uh, the file extension is incorrect. And so, you mm -hmm. know, maybe it's a it's a PNG, but it downloaded it as .png.html for some reason. And so yeah. in the files app, you can't change that uh, file extension and have it actually change the file extension. And so I needed something that would do that and Documents uh, was able to do that for me. So even some simple things that maybe you couldn't pull off uh, in other places it does. But yes, this what's interesting about Documents is that it was kind of it, it, it pre if I'm if I remember correctly it predates the files app on iOS oh, yeah. and it was yeah. yeah and it was kind of created to not only be a, a finder or a 
a file explorer, but also to be a one-stop shop for all sorts of file uh, creation and consumption because mm-hmm. you can edit PDFs in it. You can watch video right in it. It, it works kind of like VLC uh, in a way because it's it you know it can immediately play those video files. Um, it has tools to rip the audio from a video file if you need to. It can um, organize music. I mean, it is not just a file management app, nor is it a file organizing app alone. It is a very powerful tool. And as you point out, um, it does this with out, there's so much available that you don't have to pay for. Um, and yeah. it's, it's kind of, it's kind of wild how, uh, yeah. much it gives you where you don't have to add, uh, extra to it. Um, especially yeah. like PDF editing and stuff like that is it, it, you'd think it'd be simple, but some of the stuff that you need to do is not simple. And so no. it's really impressive that it can do all of these things together. Um, the most recent addition that it has added is a, is a VPN and that's not a tool mm-hmm. that I use. Um, but no, I'm using ExpressVPN myself for that. Um, and they're, they're a sponsor of the show. Um, but you know, you can, you don't have to then, you know, this gives you the option of just having a VPN for your browser, which, you know, is something that potentially you want if you don't necessarily want your email client going through a VPN. Um, but it also gives you the option to just tap plus and create a text file. It's very, very difficult, um, as we're going to talk about a bit later, I, I, I'm sure, to find an app that just lets you create and edit a .txt file on iOS. There are so <laughs> many apps out there that will do pages files. They'll do markdown. They'll do you know rich text, HTML. They'll do everything, but just a plain text file. And I love the fact that on my uh, on on here, then I can just tap the plus, and it's got text file right here. Uh, my head's in the way. Uh, if you're looking at the video, I'm sorry, it's right behind the head. But then when I tap plus text, it just comes up, and I can actually just type text. Um, and right. Sometimes you just need a text file, um, and if you don't type anything in it, it gets rid of it, which is of course great. You don't want empty files hanging around. So uh, yeah, I really really love this app for so many reasons. Yep, it's it's everybody should at least go give it a try. If you've got an iOS device, like you want to give this a shot and just see if it can do uh, what you need it to do for you. Um, I didn't realize you, you pointed out, I didn't realize you could connect to multiple Dropboxes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Cause I, I have it connected to my main Dropbox and that the one thing that I like is that, uh, for Dropbox and for, uh, a Google drive service, those files are, immediately available within the app. Um, but because it uses, it's doing this because it's the right thing to do, um, on iOS to use the proper file browser, um, sort of what API, uh, because of that, it is, it pops open the files app as opposed to being kind of available within the UI of the app. And so it's, Mm -hmm. it's, it's a nicer experience to browse my Dropbox and my Google drive than it is to browse the files app because of the way that that works, uh, which is, you know, kind of crummy, but I've got the files app for browsing those files and I use that mostly for that, but anything else where I kind of need to do more or uh, need some very specific kind of PDF editing skills, or as you said, just like, I just want to create a dadgum file. Uh, this is a great yeah. way to, to do that. 